My name is Olayinka David West. I'm a senior faculty at the Lagos Business School where I lead sessions and conduct research in information systems and technology related areas. The core cause of our research in technology is really about how technology impacts business and society. Today I just want to share some thoughts with you about some digital trends we need to be conversant of and how they're going to impact our lives and society in general. Let's start with the first one, the concept of digital transformation. What is digital transformation? It's really about the impact of several technologies that we've seen evolve as a result of the internet's um, dominization. The first of these is cloud computing. Why, where do we keep our data? Where do we keep our resources? And how do we buy our technology and software? The second of this is mobile technologies. We have more mobile phones and mobile devices than people in certain countries. The third is social media. We've seen the impact of the likes of Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn and how they've changed the way we communicate and relate with one another. The combination of all these three things has changed the way we relate, the way we do business and the way we re interact socially and business-wise as well. All these things have also culminated in, a, in an increasing amounts of data and these data sets need to be mined and controlled using business intelligence and analytics software. So business data, big data and business intelligence is another area that we need to be mindful and cognizant of where in, in some terms you can say data is the new oil. Businesses need to be conversant with the data they have to make wiser decisions about products, about markets and about the, the way they do business. The next area that we also need to look at after digital transformation is the, another impact of digital transformation which is this role of technology disruption and disruptive innovation in general. Today we have the likes of the largest taxi company not owning a taxi, the largest um, hotel company not owning any properties. What are these all about? They're about three main things. There's the, it's about the on-demand economy, the sharing economy, and where people just want things that they want without really having to buy or own their assets in general. And these are the new businesses called platforms. And these platform businesses are really facilitating interactions between two, side, two sides of a market, a producer and a consumer. In these two sides of the market, platforms are really in charge of the design and the architecture they put down, the governance mechanisms and how the people and interact and building the ecosystem in general. So you find out that platforms generally are growing and increasing and changing the way businesses are being done. And in these areas, you find out that platforms are gradually changing and disrupting industries. So in the financial services, you have what we call fintech. In agriculture, you have agritech. In um, education, you have edtech. In health, you have health tech. And these are changing market structures, cha providing impact to society and changing lives in general. Another area that I want us to talk about really is the issue about cybersecurity and privacy, which when we talk about digital, we can't avoid. Cybersecurity is a phenomenon that will continue, to, will continue to evolve. However, one thing we need to be aware of is the fact that we can actually ma we can manage cybersecurity. We can manage information security and information protocols using policies, tools and services. We can have things what we call um, white hats working with us. White hats are really ethical hackers that cause no harm but help you build better and impenetrable systems. So cybersecurity and privacy, data privacy and information privacy are also key areas. Privacy also, in, in organizations that use technology also need to be aware of the fact that the privacy rules they put in place are, need to start from internal. Internal hacks and internal breaches are also existing and not just the external hacks and breaches. Having said all this, the final point I want us to be aware of is the fact that on any given Sunday, information systems need to deliver value. They need to return benefits to the business because these are core investments that have been made in these technology systems that need, to inco that need to return benefits. So what systems and structures do we put in place to ensure that our technology investments and infrastructure that we deploy always enhance the business by giving quantifiable business value competitive advantage, which is differentiation and doing better than the competition, and firm performance in general. So ladies and gentlemen, as you think about your day-to-day -day business and how technology assists you, 
be guided by the fact that the way we buy techno and use technology has been disrupted by cloud systems. The way we do business has been disrupted by platform business models. The way we think about um, using data and storing data has to be thought about from the big data perspective because we have structured and unstructured data. And finally, we need to manage all these things, bearing in mind that security is important and security systems are important and also benefits need to be returned back to the business. Thank you. Lagos Business School, Pan-Atlantic University.